James Wallace, we have Smith Madrone, Spring Mountain District, Chardonnay next. Stay tuned for this review. So they do three wines and they do them quite well. They do a Chardonnay, a Riesling, and a Cabernet Sauvignon. And uh, it's a really cool site. I've been there and uh, recommend the visit. You need a reservation, but it's totally worth getting that reservation. So here's what we have. 2015 vintage Smith Madrone Chardonnay. 1971 is the established date, back label. And I'm gonna read just a bit of the copy here because I think it's important. So this is uh, Smith Madrone is run by brother Stuart and Charles Smith. The uh, steep dry farmed vineyards are planted in vividly red and rocky volcanic Aiken stony clay loam. And uh, when you're there, you really get that feel for this. Uh, you, know, you see some massive boulders and some of it has been removed and some of it is just so large it can't be removed. Being on site, you get a really cool view of the other side of the valley. So Chardonnay and Riesling, further north of Canaros District is really pretty rare. I don't know of another example of another producer who does Riesling this far north of Canaros District because you know, when I think of Canaros, it's really great for Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and Riesling and other varieties that can handle a lot of coolness. So on this, it's a really beautiful, rich, uh, gorgeous uh, Chardonnay that is gonna pair really well with some appetizers, some uh, really rich soups, uh, say a lobster bisque, or maybe even a butter uh, nut squash soup is gonna go nicely with this wine. Seafood, rotisserie chicken, salmon, and so forth. It's really lovely. And I, I really try to normalize Chardonnay because a lot of people are like, oh no, Chardonnay for me, anything but Chardonnay. Instead, I think, you know, Chardonnay is really risen to the top and given so many critics and uh, critiques, I think Chardonnay is amazing. Now this is 92 points out of 100 points. This is 100% barrel fermented. 80% of this is new French oak. So on the same characterization, it's really that uh, the richness that comes to the top of this. So, you know, it's a common pear, lime zest, almond flowers, and nutmeg. Beautiful. Next, the flavor characterization. Seared pear, Adriatic fig, moist stones, and freshly ground nutmeg. Again, 92 points out of 100 points. More information on the producer will be listed down below. So uh, seek them out. Also pay them a visit if you're in Napa Valley, you need a reservation. So make sure you contact them to get that reservation. And up here again is gonna be some more videos that I've reviewed of the Cabernet Sauvignon de Riesling and other vintages of Chardonnay. 2017 has been amazing. So thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I'm in a variety of social medias you might be on as well, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and WordPress. And and thank you so much for watching today. Stay tuned for more reviews to come. Sante.